السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Uh, this is uh, our third recording. Uh, in the previous two recordings, we discussed in the first recording uh, history taking and management planning for a MASMC HE clinical exam. And in the second recording, we discussed communication uh, station scenarios, uh, the different types, and uh, we took example for consent taking. And I was planning to continue the discussion of uh, communication station scenarios, but as I received a uh, uh, lot of feedbacks uh, from uh, our dear colleagues who just recently passed uh, the second part, congratulations everybody, you did well and uh, keep it up. Uh, so the feedbacks was uh, the feedback was uh, regarding uh, preparation for the clinical part and. Uh, the question which I received from uh, more than one is uh, about the time. Uh, is three month period of time is enough for exam? I received from many uh, candidates actually. So it's difficult to answer this question because the clinical exam preparation is totally different than the first and second part. Uh, the main thing in the exam, you have to look confident, fluent, okay, and uh, the examiner has to feel that you are a reliable doctor, safe to uh, uh, the patients. So that cannot happen uh, unless you are uh, really confident based on your experience and your background. So let's take two candidate groups. The first group, uh, they are working in a tertiary hospital with multi subspecialities. And they did rotation in different subspecialities. And uh, uh, it's education, I mean, uh, it's a teaching hospital, a teaching hospital yes. And uh, they are used to presenting cases and uh, they are aware about this. Uh, basics. While the other candidate uh, groups, uh, they are working in primary health centers or they are working in just one subspeciality, they are not rotating and they are not familiar with the other uh, subspecialities uh, uh, cases. Okay, So uh, they will feel in confident when they deal with uh, a case which is the first time to deal with. So let's say that in your exam you uh, are going to be examined for respiratory station on a case of cystic fibrosis. Okay. So your performance if you have seen as a case of cystic fibrosis for uh, more than 10 cases before, so you will not be like surprised or astonished once you see a case of cystic fibrosis and you know what you are searching for and even the approach of uh, examination, your approach uh, uh, maybe you are doing by nature, it needs just some minute uh, modifications while for those who never uh, who ha have never seen cystic fibrosis before so they will they will look in confident and uh, uh, that will be reflected on their performance and to be frank in, uh, in the exam if you are trying to act as confident okay uh, uh, it will be fake so you have to be confident that's why in your preparation for the exam you have to work in this point you have to build up your self-confidence and uh, uh, your performance is really affected if you are hesitated or uh, you show the examiner that you are not confident in the exam. Okay. So again, back to the question, is three month period of time is enough? So three month period of time for those who are applying for the clinical exam for the first part, uh, for the first time, uh, this is the minimum. And uh, why it's minimum? Because uh, I, I'm talking about my experience, so there will be exceptions, 
but uh, uh, I will say why three month period of time is the minimum because we are going to divide this three month period of time uh, uh, and I'm going to uh, illustrate that uh, later but the first question so three months period of time uh, it's the minimum amount uh, I mean the minimum uh, time limit for uh, preparation uh, the second question what are the steps I can take for preparation okay so the first step is to be aware about the structure of the exam so I have to know what is the clinical MRCCH exam and uh, I think most of us know very well uh, the, the structure of the exam but I'm just repeating uh, just in case and to remind each other so the clinical exam 10 stations uh, one is totally different than the other uh, remaining blind stations which, which is video station and to be frank video station is very close to the second part those who just study the second part and passed the uh, 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 second part recently I think they have the uh, fresh knowledge uh, uh, fresh theoretical knowledge to be able to pass the video station because the difference between video station and the second part uh, uh, especially these questions with images that the video station is only dynamic images okay but same type of questions it's best of five uh, there will be 10 uh, video scenarios and uh, uh, you are expected to answer uh, uh, like one answer best of five and uh, we will discuss later what are the different um, uh, video uh, scenarios which are going to expect on the exam so I can say briefly any case which I cannot bring under clinical exam can be a case of exam like what? so acute emergencies I cannot bring a patient who is shocked uh, or in DKA uh, uh, or seizing in the exam so uh, it makes sense so uh, this patient is a good uh, uh, actually a candidate for a video station scenario so this is the first uh, station I started with because it's very close to the second part and the studying it, it will not take much time uh, and uh, actually this is the only station which totally depends on your knowledge uh, you cannot blame the examiner you cannot blame patient cooperation so if you did well in this you have to thank yourself if you uh, uh, didn't uh, do well in this station so think about the fix in your uh, uh, studying for your, your previous experience with exposure to such kind of cases okay so this is regarding the uh, video station there will be as we discussed before two communication station scenarios okay and uh, these two communication communication station scenarios uh, if like the first communication scenario is about information giving so the second one will be critical incident if one is about consent the third one will be about or the next one will be about education uh, uh, and uh, as i mentioned if you practice from rebecca book and all these communication scenarios uh, in mark bt book okay th those will be uh, enough more than enough actually and the most important thing about communication station is uh, practicing okay so now we discussed three stations out of seven so we have after that the history taking and I think we discussed uh, it uh, we fully discussed it actually in one uh, recording before so the remaining stations are six one of them 
is different. And actually, I like this station very well because uh, I like it very much. Sorry, because this station, uh, which is growth and development, actually are going to this uh, station to enjoy. Really, it's it's enjoying. You are going to play uh, with the kid, and uh, just imagine that you are playing with your kid at home. You can even try to pet on your kids if you have. And you have to show, especially the British examiners, uh, they like to feel that you are uh, enjoying this station and you are also making um, the uh, patient enjoying uh, with your interaction with him and your report. So uh, uh, this uh, station we are going to discuss uh, in details, but uh, uh, I like the ghost development and it has a certain approach we are going to discuss later and it's not difficult as also it depends on uh, your uh, knowledge about the ghost and development uh, milestones you have to memorize them very well so there will be uh, we said two communication one video station uh, one history taking, growth or development, growth and development. There will be and uh, uh, five other stations. So the other remaining stations will be uh, two, three of them are constant, not variable. So we have cardiovascular station, we have respiratory station, we have neurological station, and the other two remaining. I'm expecting to uh, see uh, to see a label over the door of the examination uh, room. On this label, it will be uh, uh, written uh, abdomen slash others, musculoskeletal slash others. So, in case of cardiovascular, 100%. I'm sure that once I log in uh, examination room, I will find a case with a uh, cardiac problem. The same for neurology, the same for respiratory. But in abdomen and others, and musculoskeletal and others, so there will be a chance that I may go to the musculoskeletal and find a case of uh, um, short stature or uh, general examination, uh, syndromic case for genetics or thyroid, okay, uh, or uh, uh, eye examination, for example, which is not common. Common to be friends. So uh, uh, this is the challenge here in these two stations because I'm not expecting. I don't know what uh, uh, what I'm going to face inside the room. That's why we have to be uh, uh, like able to control ourselves, not to panic, and to put a push which can guide us. Uh, because this, the opening statement will guide us, but not all the time. The opening statement will be uh, informative to the degree that you will know what case you are uh, going to be examined on. Clear so far? So, uh, uh, this briefly the demonstrations. stations. Each station has its unique uh, preparation and your, uh, also it depends on your approach for each station. You have to have your own approach which you are comfortable with and uh, you can use this approach to extract all signs and uh, uh, data in the patient uh, you are examining. I hope that uh, this is enough about the, uh, your, I mean, uh, about your uh, background about the exam. So this is the first step to know what uh, was the, uh, the structure of the exam. The second uh, uh, step I have to do is to decide which diet I'm going to apply. Uh, because if you try to start studying and then you will say, once I'm ready, I will join the exam, uh, I'm sure that it will not happen and you will feel every time you are going to apply for exam that still uh, uh, your preparation is deficient and you will need more time. 
this is human nature don't uh, worry you have to fix a certain diet in a period which is less than three months to prepare for the clinical exam and okay so this is the uh, second step after knowledge of the background of the structure of the exam then the selection of the diet you want and based on that you will uh, start your timetable for studying then uh, the third step is collection of uh, sources collection of sources uh, there are like two or three books nobody can uh, 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 negotiate about uh, the importance of Mark PT book this is the main uh, book for studying for MRCPH exam and uh, if you are able to finish this book reading and studying okay more than once so you have to know that uh, you guarantee uh, good performance in the clinical exam but again you have to uh, be confident it's not only about knowledge this exam is not about knowledge this exam about your uh, clinical skills your social skills and uh, uh, degree of confidence and fluency you uh, are showing to the examiner and uh, 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 again uh, this exam is totally different than uh, the preparation for the first and second but I will keep uh, insisting on this point okay uh, in this exam the least uh, uh, thing you are going to prepare for this exam is the theoretical background okay so mark a book is the cornerstone for studying for the exam and then you will add it uh, you will add uh, Rebecca book communication scenarios uh, as I mentioned this book is not for studying this big book is for practicing with a group which is uh, uh, not less than three individuals and one more book less important than the other previous two books which is uh, uh, made simple clinical emotions each made simple uh, this book I like because there are uh, two or three approaches uh, actually I quoted from uh, that book for short stature and uh, the approach for history taking it's mentioned in three uh, or four pages in a very nice way and uh, it's a very concise book uh, the other advantage I found in this book that there is attached a uh, CD a DVD actually uh, and in this DVD um, it's like a, a demonstration for the clinical exam and this demonstration done by uh, British examiners it was very informative and good to uh, review if you are going to start your preparation for the exam it's very good just to give you a hint about uh, um, the good preparation for the exam and I myself I did like this uh, so uh, it's, it's uh, to, to view the DVD uh, uh, this uh, nowadays uh, during your preparation to start with I recommend this DVD very, very much okay so uh, the other sources we have nice guidelines and the importance of nice guidelines uh, in the communication scenarios especially information giving uh, you will trace some scenarios which uh, is related to information giving um, like a uh, mother uh, she brought her kid with a referral letter from the GB with the <coughs> repeated UTI infection his neonate and uh, he's asking for uh, further work up then you have to know what are the steps uh, you are going to do and uh, uh, this uh, nice guidelines in UTI is very uh, common and they like it very much uh, like mother she brought her 
challenge uh, with a complaint of functional constipation. So you have to know nice guidelines regarding constipation. Same for uh, a mother, she's uh, having a kid having diarrhea and uh, again, it's you know, about information giving regarding the uh, celiac disease, the same. So, uh, nice guidelines are very good uh, material for the examiner, especially in the communication station area. Uh, I think the nice guidelines are available on the, on the website, you can download them. And uh, uh, sometimes even in video station, you will expect some questions and the answer will be found in the nice guidance. The other sources, YouTube, okay, and uh, uh, YouTube really is a very generous uh, source uh, for the uh, station and to check uh, clinical examination done by candidates who are preparing for the exam, especially uh, some British candidates uh, they established a site in, uh, I think, 2013 uh, called uk. This site really helpful. Uh, uh, all videos uh, were recorded in examination settings and uh, uh, recorded for real candidates. I'm not sure if that was in real exam or mock exams. And even the mistakes they committed, you will find feedbacks uh, regarding these mistakes in the uh, website. I like uh, this site very much. So this is regarding sources. I think uh, all the sources I mentioned uh, are enough. So this is the third step. I mentioned the first step is to uh, uh, know about the structure of the exam. Second step is to fix a diet. Third step is to collect the material. Fourth step is to uh, collect or to establish a study group, not less than three persons, not more than four persons. Why? Uh, as uh, uh, all of us know very well, that if we are doing uh, practice, so one will be a uh, candidate, one will be examiner, okay, and one will be time keeper. And uh, usually uh, the plan will be like uh, we now uh, going to practice on one patient. Don't expect that parents, even if they are showing uh, 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 like uh, cooperation, but uh, if three candidates are doing the same full examination on the same patient, really it's tiring for the child, tiring for the family, and they will complain, and then will that will cause problems because they will find uh, the candidate who's doing examination very serious and there's timekeeper, then they will panic. And I think nobody likes uh, to invade the privacy of uh, families like this. So usually the plan is a uh, uh, candidate will go, uh, or let, let's say before that, before that uh, one will sacrifice, like today, he is going to check the old patients admitted in the hospital, okay? And he will search for any case, uh, uh, age is ranging from 2 years up to uh, 13 years, not in distress, uh, not admitted in ICU, patient was cooperative, okay, and uh, he will try to find uh, uh, from the diagnosis and the data, he will go and confirm the finding, okay, and then he will not tell others what he is going to tell that we have one patient in uh, this ward who is uh, uh, fit for examination and uh, he's having signs, very good signs. And you go examine him and then confirm what's fitting. And based on that, you will 
uh, ask the remaining two persons one will be the candidate and one will be the timekeeper then after the candidate finish examination the uh, whole player uh, uh, sorry the timekeeper will go and confirm the findings mentioned by him and uh, uh, just the positive findings he will not do the full examination and later on we will discuss based on the written information and uh, based on the clinical examination okay is that clear and please be professional try as i mentioned not to invade the privacy of uh, families try not to criticize because actually this is a common mistake try, try not to criticize uh, uh, the team uh, who's taking care of the team for example uh, you will discuss and then say, oh, okay, it's written in the system that he's having pan-systolic, it's not pan-systolic, it's Egyptian systolic. For example, okay, uh, it's mentioned that uh, a murmur is in the uh, uh, apex, but it's in the left post in the polo, and so on, okay. So, uh, uh, it's not professional at all to try to criticize, and also it's not professional to give any information regarding the management of the patient. Uh, uh, and you are only allowed if you discuss with the primary team and also uh, uh, even if you discuss you are not allowed to uh, talk to the family regarding the management or to criticize the management yeah. okay so the fourth step okay is to after uh, as i mentioned after you establish the goal the first step is to uh, uh, be committed to time table uh, which is clear uh, for three months you will give each clinical station uh, 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 like one week okay so in, in this week you are going to study uh, the cases mentioned in multiplicity for each uh, uh, like let's say the first week cardiovascular so i'm going to study the uh, let's say 30 pages sorry for interruption okay so uh, as uh, we mentioned before so uh, uh, first week let's say um, I will focus on the cardiovascular system. I will finish the 30 pages in the Monkey Bia book. And I will try by the end of this week to reach a certain approach which I'm going to apply on patients. Okay. And I can start seeing patients after I finish uh, studying uh, this week the theoretical part. and. Uh, uh, I reach it a certain approach which I feel comfortable to apply and I memorize very well and there's no chance for uh, hesitation during the examination uh, as I mentioned I have to be fluent in my exam and my technique and it should be safe technique and it should be evaluated by uh, seniors somebody who had, has experience of exam uh, to check your defects and to give you feedback clear okay. so this is for uh, each week I'm going to take uh, one uh, clinical station so let's say six weeks which is one month and a half I finish the clinical stations meanwhile every week you have to practice every other day with the group uh, history taking and communication scenarios and communication uh, every time you are uh, gathering uh, you have to finish not less than three scenarios if you are three uh, persons so uh, uh, each one will be uh, a candidate and role player and examiner okay uh, that will be first and history taking because it consumes time so it will be difficult 
to take three history-taking scenarios, and uh, uh, it's a little bit boring for for the, for the examiner or for the whole player, and it's all about the candidate. But uh, again, we will try to enjoy history-taking by uh, trying to uh, create uh, history-taking scenarios in such way it will be helpful for uh, the person who's creating uh, history taking and the whole player and how to create uh, at first I have to think about complaints and I can build up story uh, based on the complaint because I will think about differential diagnosis and based on the differential diagnosis I will select in my mind uh, uh, one differential diagnosis and they will try to create the history taking scenario with uh, some misleading information and leading information it's really uh, uh, something you will enjoy practicing uh, together so this is regarding the time limit uh, i think if we apply this you will have one month and a half remaining for practicing just practicing no more theory uh, and please don't try to open any textbooks uh, to uh, uh, revise any theoretical information because uh, one of the examiner, uh, one of the examiners before I, I met in Egypt, he uh, told me information and still I, I really I respect this. He said, you have been evaluated for your theoretical knowledge in the first and second part in this exam you are going to be evaluated for your uh, practical clinical skills and your communication social skills and that's true the other information he told me which I also I, I like very well and I like to tell you uh, he said uh, everyone logging in examination room with clear bus and he will decide whether to look out with the clear bus or with clear field. so it's all about you please don't try to uh, uh, like uh, create your monsters and uh, uh, think about these uh, misconceptions and uh, rumors about uh, difficult examiners or difficult examination centers uh, again uh, your success is in your hand okay and it's uh, uh, your intention whether to pass this exam or not okay uh, I hope that uh, I answered uh, most of the questions and uh, uh, I think uh, if we try to build up our confidence which cannot be done unless we uh, practice and practice and practice that will be more than enough okay so uh, don't <coughs> to think negatively uh, these three persons in each group should encourage uh, themselves if anybody felt that he's uh, uh, anxious is uh, not going to make it uh, it's the responsibility of the other two persons to help him uh, pass through this and to build up his confidence it's all about confidence and uh, uh, your uh, uh, connection with each other will improve your performance and uh, uh, I really I feel grateful to the study group I worked with and I was practicing with, we were doing daily practice, we went to different hospitals together and uh, uh, alhamdulillah the three of us uh, uh, we passed the exam and we were proud to uh, pass through this experience I wish all of you uh, uh, do their best in the exam and will be satisfied with your performance in the exam and uh, again success is guaranteed uh, with your performance uh, thank you and wait for the other recordings and uh, we are going to assume uh, the other communication scenarios and later on we are going to start uh, 
the clinical uh, stations preparation. Thank you.